Hi, I am Arjun. Uh, in this session, we'll uh, learn how to solve the stiffness matrix for a beam element. So uh, we know that uh, from the basic uh, shape functions for beam element, H1 is 1 over 4 into 2 minus 2 zeta plus zeta cube. So similarly, H2, H3, H4, we know these uh, basic equations. Now we'll write uh, the basic formulation for this. We know this V can be written as Okay, the displacement function V can be written as H1 V1 plus H2 into dou V by dou X at node 1 so when zeta is minus 1 plus H3 V3 plus H4 into dou V by dou X at node 2 where this V1 can be taken as Q1 and this q2 will be dou v by dou x at node 1 and q3 can be taken equal to v3 and q4 will be taken equal to dou v by dou x at node 2 so node 1 when zeta is minus 1 and node 2 when zeta is plus 1 and now what what we have to do is so we'll uh, since we have to derive this in natural coordinate system considering natural coordinate system so considering natural coordinate system and so using chain rule of partial differentiation using chain rule of partial differentiation So now we can assume that dou v by dou zeta can be equal to dou v by dou x into dou x by dou zeta. See if we cancel these two dou x and dou x now this will become dou v by dou zeta. Now we are uh, relating this natural coordinates to local coordinate system and since we know that from the relationship between natural coordinates and ca Cartesian coordinates zeta can be written as 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1 minus 1 and uh, if you differentiate this with respect to x do do zeta by do x is 2 by le or other words you can write do x by do zeta as le by 2 so now this equation can be simplified as do v by dou zeta at node 1 ok now in natural coordinate system at node 1 dou v by dou zeta can be written as le by 2 into dou v by dou x at node 1 so similarly similarly dou v by dou zeta in natural coordinate system at node 2 can be written as le by 2 into dou v by dou x at node 2 so now what we have to do is now what we have to do is we have to substitute this functions okay now so let us take that uh, basic uh, uh, displacement function in natural coordinate system v is equal to h1 v1 plus h2 dou v by dou zeta at node 1 plus h3 v3 plus h4 dou v by dou zeta at node 2 since dou v by dou zeta at node 1 is nothing but le by 2 into dou v by dou x at node 1 so we can rewrite this as h1 q1 since v1 is equals to q1 from this function so plus h2 okay this entire function will be this entire function will be le by 2 so le by 2 into dou v by dou zeta at node 1 into h2 dou v by dou zeta at node 1 into h2 plus h3 q3 plus h4 into le by 2 into 
dou v by sorry this is dou v by dou x dou v by dou x at node 2 since dou v by dou x at node 1 is nothing but q2 again now we can rewrite this as h1 q1 plus h2 into le by 2 into q2 plus h3 q3 plus le by 4 h4 into q4 now we can write it directly write this as h1 le by 2 into h2 h3 le by 2 into h4 and we can write the nodal displacements q1 q2 q3 and q4 so now uh, we can rewrite that equation as v is equal to h into q and we can call this as equation 1 ok we can call that as equation 1 and uh, since we know that strain energy for a beam element is given by u e is equal to e i by 2 over length of the element dou square v by dou x square whole square into dx now you can call this as equation 2 and uh, we know that dou v by dou zeta is equal to le by 2 into dou v by dou x and we can write dou v by dou x as 2 by le into dou v by dou zeta so dou square v by dou x square can be written as 4 by le square into dou square v by dou zeta square or in other words you can expand this like this so dou by dou x into dou v by dou x can be written like this dou by dou x since we know that dou v by dou x is 2 by L e into dou by dou zeta dou v by dou zeta and if you take out this dou zeta common so dou by dou zeta if you take out this term outside and if you multiply this term inside so it will be 2 by L e into dou square sorry 2 by L e into dou v by dou x this will become dou v by dou x again since dou v by dou x is 2 by L e 2 by L e into dou v by dou zeta so this entire function can be written as 4 by L e square dou square v by dou zeta square ok this is a proof for uh, dou square v by dou x square Okay, this is uh, that is a proof for dou square v by dou x square and uh, since we know that v is equal to since we know that v is equal to h into q dou square v by dou x square will be 4 by l e square into dou square by dou zeta square into h into q because this v is nothing but h into q so we rewrite that function we replace v as h into q and uh, now 4 by l e square dou square by dou zeta square now uh, h is nothing but h1 l e by 2 into h2 h3 l e by 2 into h4 and since q is nothing but q1 q2 q3 
and q4 see this this functions are for h and now this matrix is for q and similarly now you can rewrite this as 4 by le square do square by do zeta square h into q transpose okay so since since we need do square v by do x square whole square so this can be represented as do square v by do x square into do square v by do x square so which can be written as 4 by l e square do square by do zeta square h into q transpose because this is a value of do square v by do x square into 4 by l e square do square by do zeta square in order to make this simplification easier now this can be represented as h transpose into q okay now the same equation or even you, you can write h into q transpose same function can be written now since we from equation 2 from equation 2 we know that strain energy equation okay, which is e i by 2 okay e i by 2 or uh, even if you want to simplify this we can simplify this so e i by 2 uh, since it is in the natural coordinate system minus 1 to plus 1 4 into 4 16 L e square L e square L e to the power of 4 okay so now I can rewrite this as d square by d zeta square h transpose first I will write transpose term d square by d zeta square next I will write h as it is so this term and q transpose into q into dx is l e by dx is l e by 2 into d zeta so i'll write that as it is okay now so this is this is from this equation is obtained from equation 2 and now simplifying this so u e the strain energy equation can be written as e i by 2 minus 1 to plus 1 so now we can cancel 1 le and 1 le to 1s are to 8s are so it will be 8 by le cube 8 by le cube do square by do zeta square h transpose do square by do zeta square h into q transpose into q into d zeta now on simplification so now what i'll do is i'll i'll take one or two outside and this q transpose outside okay into minus one to plus one now i'll multiply this e i inside so this will become eight e i by L e q into do square by do zeta square h transpose into do square by do zeta square h so into d zeta into q now this entire function can be represented like this 1 over 2 q transpose k e into q now this entire function that is within the limits minus 1 to plus 1 can be written as ke and this is q transpose including this zeta d zeta term is ke into q okay now in continuation to this okay now i'll uh, we can take out that uh, q 
ke term separately so ke ke will be equal to 8 a by l e cube minus 1 to plus 1 dou square by dou zeta square h transpose into dou square by dou zeta square h into d zeta now this is this is the term whatever we are considered for uh, the stiffness matrix ke since we know that dou by dou zeta into h can be represented like this so dou by dou zeta we know that h is nothing but h1 le by 2 into h2 so le by 3 into sorry h3 le by 2 into h4 and this function dou by dou zeta of h okay, can be written as dou by dou zeta so because h1 is 1 over 4 into 2 minus 3 zeta plus zeta cube and le by 2 h2 is 1 over 4 into 1 minus zeta minus zeta square plus zeta cube comma h3 is nothing but 1 over 4 into 2 plus 3 zeta minus zeta cube and h4 is 1 over 4 into l e by 2 minus 1 minus zeta plus zeta square plus zeta cube this are from the properties of shift function and now after substitution and simplification after substitution and simplification between the limits minus 1 to plus 1 we will get the stiffness matrix as ke is equal to e i by l e cube as e i by l e cube as 12 6 l e minus 12 6 l e 6 l e 4 l e square minus 6 l e 2 l e square minus 12 minus 6 l e 6 l e 2 l e square 12 minus 6 l e minus 6 l e and 4 l e square this is a stiffness matrix this is a stiffness matrix for a beam element this is a stiffness matrix obtained for a beam element after substitution and simplification thank you